appreciate you. All right. <laughs> All right, we'll start with Jim with two questions over here. What's up, Drew? How are you? What's going on? Um, well, I, I guess real quick, I know Devin was asked about this the other day. I'm, I, I know where your focus is right now, but will you give yourself a few minutes to think or reconsider about Team USA considering what they're going through, the world's going through, that type of thing? Or are you kind of just all in on that and when you get to it, you, you will? I mean, I watched the games. Right. I guess I didn't know with, like, you know, Bradley's situation, obviously the COVID. No, I heard about all that. Yeah. But um, fortunately uh, fortunately for me, I'm, I'm in probably one of the biggest games of my career. This, right. this coming up game, so. Right. Well, speaking of, I mean, you guys have had the three closeouts on the road. Is there any different mental situation? Because I know you're trying to treat it like it's any other game. However, you just said it's it's not. So is there? What's your balance there of trying to keep it normal, but also, I guess, as, as you guys have said, stay in the moment and, and kind of know where you're at. Um, honestly, I think it's about playing desperate, um, playing like it's the last game of the season, uh, like our backs against the wall. We. Like like we said, we we got a good win that fifth game, but the job's not done. And yes, there'd be no better place to do it than at home. But we also got a, t a great team over there who doesn't give up and plays well together. And so, uh, yes, we have an opportunity, and uh, we just got to really focus on and, and play for ourselves. All right, we'll go to Dwayne right here. Yeah, Drew, you guys are averaging 17 transition points at 21 in Game Five. What's been key? or keys to that, you feel? Um, I think it's just being aggressive defensively without fouling. Uh, I think those first couple of games, we put a lot of people on the free throw line. But um, I think getting stops really helps us in transition. And again, we have great floor spacing, uh, a lot of weapons, people who can get to the basket, people who can shoot threes. And when we move the ball in transition, it's it's pretty tough to guard. Um, obviously, much is made of the last the lob to Giannis, but you slow, slowed it down to give him that space to get to that spot. Just maybe take take me through that for you and seeing that. Was that going in slow motion for you? Because it was, that's obviously a pivotal point in the game. Maybe just take take me through that. Um, I mean, honestly, after the steal, um, I think I looked behind me to see if anybody was coming. I think I looked up at the clock to see how much time was left, and I was going to back it out, and I just saw Giannis running, and he was calling for it, so... At that point, it was, I think it was me, him, and Chris. Uh, maybe Tuck was back there too, but me, him, and Chris. And I mean, I threw it, I threw it up as high as I could, so just so that he can get it. All right, final question, Mark Medina. Hey Drew, how did you weigh just the different variables of ultimately playing for Team USA? Just knowing, you know, the compressed nature of the schedule, but also wanting to take advantage of this opportunity. I guess honestly, I just felt like I wasn't going to stop playing. Um, just continue playing basketball, which is what I love to do. Um, yes, there is a component of uh, playing for your country, playing for your family. Um, my wife being a two-time Olympian was also a factor. But um, I think not having a break and just feeling like, well, I'm, we're, we're in the finals, uh, why not just continue playing basketball? Is there a certain approach you've taken with us knowing you have another responsibility in a tight schedule? Say that first part again. What's, what's your approach with being able to navigate this through a tight schedule? Uh, win a championship <laughs> and just go from there. Um, I feel like the goal for us and, and one of the dreams for me through my, I mean, since a little kid was winning an NBA championship. So that's the main focus and that's what I'm focusing on right now. All right. Thank you, Drew. We, it's the